Section 19 of Robert Burns, 250th Anniversary, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. John Barleycorn, A Ballad, by Robert Burns. There were three kings into the east, three kings both great and high, and they had sworn a solemn oath. John Barleycorn should die. They took a plough and ploughed him down, put clods upon his head, and they had sworn a solemn oath John Barleycorn was dead. But the cheerful spring came kindly on, and showers began to fall. John Barleycorn got up again, and sore surprised them all. The sultry suns of summer came, and he grew thick and strong. His head was armed with pointed spears that no one should him wrong. The sober autumn entered mild, when he grew wan and pale. His beating joints and drooping head showed he began to fail. His color sickened more and more. He faded into age, and then his enemies began to show their deadly rage. They've ten a weapon, long and sharp, and cut him by the knee, then tied him fast upon a cart, like a rogue for forgery. They laid him down upon his back, and cudgeled him full sore. They hung him up before the storm, and turned him o'er and o'er. They filled up a darksome pit, with water to the brim. They heaved in John Barleycorn, and let him sink or swim. They laid him out upon the floor, to work him further woe, and still as signs of life appeared, they tossed him to and fro. They wasted o'er a scorching flame, the marrow of his bones. But a miller used him worst of all, he crushed him between the stones. And they had taken his very heart's blood, and drank it round and round, and still the more and more they drank, their joy did more abound. John Barleycorn was a hero bold, of noble enterprise, for if you do but taste his blood, twill make your courage rise. Twill make a man forget his woe, twill heighten all his joy, twill make the widow's heart to sing, though the tear were in her eye. Then let us toast John Barleycorn, each man a glass in hand, and may his great posterity ne'er fail in all Scotland. End of John Barleycorn, a ballad. Recorded by David Lawrence, January the 10th, 2009, in Brampton, Ontario.